Okay, good day guys. I'm Wilson, uh, Wilson Creative Studio here. Today I'm going to share with you uh, some brief idea about the basic Photoshop feature that you need to know in order to perform the editing of uh, CD label design or CD inlay cover or DVD cover. Okay, so this is uh, one of the Photoshop. It doesn't really matter uh, which version. Okay, so uh, I just want to stress a few things when you open a new one. So normally, if you want to do a CD label or DVD label, you need to use a 12 times 12 centimeter. This is a standard size for CD label, and normally you have to use 300 pixel per inch. Okay, you can see there's a pixel per cm. Okay, this is for basically a high DPI dot per inch or you know a high quality printing. Okay, for printing we need to use CMYK, which stand for cyan, magneta, yellow, and black. Okay, which is the color mode for printing purpose. Okay, whereas the RGB is normally used for display on the uh, internet. Let's say you have a design that you want to display on your website, then you use the RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. So if you receive this mode from client, you have to make sure you change it to uh, CMYK uh, color mode. Okay, so it doesn't matter about the title. Okay, so normally this is the size or the layout of the for the CD label design that we wanted to do the editing okay so uh, one thing as you see in my previous video of how I do the lab CD label okay one thing is the elliptical mark Q2 which I I like to use the fixed size of 12 times 12 centimeters so you always get the uh, you know the right proportion okay so you do again like that uh, sorry, I mean the right uh, size for the label. Okay, and then uh, make sure you double click on this background so it will become a layer. Okay, so when you press Ctrl Shift I, as I show you, you can get the selection outside the current selection. Then you can paste uh, something like dark gray and you get something like that. Then you press Ctrl D to end the selection. Okay, so there's a few feature that we use like new guide, which is very important. Like you use six centimeter to give you a rough idea of the center position. Okay, another six centimeter of uh, horizontal here. Okay, so of course you can add a smaller um, uh, this elliptical marquee too. Like let's say uh, two point four cm or one point five, depends on the size of your label sticker. Okay, then you can position it at the, somewhere in the center. Okay, then you just uh, paste it, dark gray again, so something like that. Okay, so so this is basically the something you need to know on doing a label design. Okay, so there's a few other thing that I'm going to show you that when you do editing. Okay, let's say I. I go to uh, okay let's say this is the art from client happy new year 2018 uh, wonderful healthy prosperity okay let's say I copy this and I paste it I want to display this thing here okay as you can see, Y is something smaller, okay, something you need to know, a feature called image, image size. Okay, you can see this one is a high resolution file, but it's a 7.65 times 5.05 cm. So originally, actually, it's this size, you know, but because it's enlarged. So, or either it could be a lower resolution. So when you paste it, normally you get something smaller. So that's something you need to know in the image size you can know the current uh, the, the resolution size of that particular design and the, the size there okay then you press ctrl t and you can press hold on the shift to enlarge it okay something like that so when you pay bring this over it will become like that so actually earlier uh, we did a mistake here okay so what we want is uh, we want to make this as a layer here, so we use uh, we go back to a fixed size of 12 times 12. We need to do some editing here, okay? Just do like that, and then you press.
press delete okay so now we get this as a a layer here then now we place back the 2.4 cm okay so so make sure this layer is selected and and it looks something like that okay okay so one of the editing skill that you need to know is beside you position this here okay is um, is something that you need to do is call um, eraser as well as uh, this one clone stamp 2 okay clone stamp 2 is very good if let's say you press alternate here and then I okay you see uh, I will repeat again you press alternate on this area and then you release the alternate and then you press here it will actually overlap the the part here and then you press again alternate and then you, you will you will try to override the the something here with the the element here or the design here okay so it looks like like uh you know it's actually replacing the the, the design of pattern from this while I press control I release and then I, I just like uh what I call replace it okay repaint it so it will actually you know you don't see anything awkward here okay like let's say this part I, I I do like that. You know? See, you can do it slowly. Just a bit of editing. So we actually replace the, the the word with the background here. So it's not so obvious. This is for a client that don't have a. Uh, layer form you know they want to want us to do some editing for them so this something is, is very useful it's called this um, clone clone stamp uh, tool here okay then of course uh, uh, there are a few things you can do editing like the the design here you can add gradient or level okay if you add levels for example okay I'll just show you you can pull this here it actually darkens the part that is really dark you see the red is get darker okay this is the middle middle part you see you will darken the middle part or you can brighten it and this is the, for the bright part you can actually brighten it further so this is to enhance the existing image okay let's say you go to a window now you close the adjustment okay this is the level that we add so before after you see it's sharper so um um, okay, this is uh, most of the thing that you need to know and of course uh, the text layer that you need to add on if you want to add new wording Okay, so when you press the T here, you will automatically add a new layer here, a text layer and you can type, um, let's say uh, Happy Chinese New Year for example okay, 2018 another new new font and new uh, typing so let's say we enlarge it okay so i just want to stress a few things here okay let's say this is the text right you can actually do a bit of editing to the current text you can go to this uh, this character here and you can see you can actually um, enlarge the the height of the wording you see you can do like that or let's say 120 you know. or you can enlarge the the width of the wording okay okay low so let me see this way and then we can actually also uh, put a 50 here you see or 100 you see the space in between of the letter will be enlarged then we can use ctrl t to resize it so this is something we can manipulate to the character 
okay then of course we can also (uh) change the the colour okay let's say change to yellow okay it's not so visible right okay this way (uh) the blending effect is useful or blending option here okay one note (uh) thing normally I'll add is a stroke okay let's say stroke I'll add (uh) it you see like black usually it will make it more visible then you can add some drop down shadow inner shadow or whatever okay so so it make it more visible okay you can in fact you can change it to white colour if you want something like that okay so this is a blending option that you (uh) need to know (uh) while doing the editing okay (um) okay another thing is important is this (uh) eye drop tools okay maybe if you want this red colour I can just pick this red you know let's say I want to replace the wording with this red so I can actually get the right red colour matching from this design you know to paste it here okay this is something (uh) very useful also okay (um) then of course (uh) let's see let's see let's see let's see (um) okay this is mostly the basic (uh) tools that you need to know when you do the (uh) editing okay and just as a last one if you in case you want to know is a uh, transform this actually can even (uh) like rotate or flip horizontal you know so you see this is for the the wording and then you press control Z to undo you know, or you can just flip this flip this uh, horizontal for the tree here see it will flip like that so this is some of the basic editing you need to know in the CD label design and obviously when you save it you make sure you save in two files one is the Photoshop file in PSD format another one is uh, the one that you're going to send to your client for smaller size in JPEG Okay, first we save in JPEG for example. Okay, let's say I save it in a desktop here. Okay, so the one that we're going to send to client, we want to make sure it's a low, low quality, so it will maintain as a small file size. Okay, then another one we'll save in the existing uh, Photoshop file, which we want to use it for editing uh, later on. Okay. So as you can see, let's say I go back to the uh, my desktop, right? Okay, you can see this is the two file here. Okay, so you can see now I go to the property of this uh, JPEG that I saved earlier using a low quality. You can see you can see the file size is pretty small, which you can use to email client or you can what apps or whatever option that you have. You know. Okay, you can see the property. Okay, sorry, it's a bit slow here. Okay, so you see, it's just barely one megabyte. Okay, barely one megabyte. You know, which is kind of uh, kind of small, you know. And while you see the Photoshop, how of course, this is for the the one that you go use for editing is fifteen megabyte. So that's why normally we have to save in two files. One is for only editing, and one is to send to a client to as a, a mock mock up design for whether uh, they need further editing or not. Okay, so this is more or less about it. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comments below and do subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'm Wilson Creative Studio.